Hey there folks, this is Felicity with Layer 1. I am here to talk to you today about publishing a Sitecore form. Before we get too far into it, just a couple notes for you. First of all, we are working on a demo test environment and uh, our focus today is really on talking to you about the steps in publishing a Sitecore form. And so we're really focusing on functionality, workflow, not so much the look and feel. Uh, please note also along with that that I do have a display zoom in place. And a couple more important notes are that we are using Sitecore forms rather than web forms for marketers. That's also within version 9.3. Last but not least, we do hope that you'll reach out and contact us if you have any questions, follow up for us. And you've got a few different ways to do that. So you've got my email address, felicity.osowski at layer1media.com. You've got our general informational email address, info at layer1media.com. And also our contact us form on our website, www.layer1media.com slash contact dash us. Alrighty. I am going to get us into our site today. What you're seeing right here is our demo instance. And we are going to be putting a form on this support page right here. So that's what I'm showing you there. To do that, we're going to go over into our main menu. And we're going to be working in two different sections today. So first of all, we're going to be in the forms tool as well as the content editor. So the forms tool is really a WYSIWYG editor to let you, you know, move things around, get a sense of what the form's going to look like. And what it's doing during that process is it's creating content that then does display within this content editor for further massaging, publishing, that sort of thing. So we are going to start out today within the forms tool and I'm going to create a new one. Alrighty, I'm just going to add a few basic fields, text, email, I'll throw a submit action on there, do some quick updating. Okay, now with the submit action, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a thank you page uh, to, to navigate to after this. So I already showed you the page that it's going to be placed on that support page, but you do want to make sure that you have somewhere to send the person after they are done filling out the form. So typically this would be, you know, a thank you page within the existing site. I'm just going to, for the sake of simplicity today, going to put this to direct our website. Alrighty, now I'm going to apply that. And last but not least, save my form. And this is kind of that first step in the workflow of the publishing process. Uh, I do, however, recommend that you save often. So, you know, do a few changes, save it, do a few more changes, save it, um, so that you're not losing any work there in case you decide to walk away. Um, so I'm just gonna call this test form. Yeah. Demo test form. There we go. Save that. Alrighty, so now our form is saved. And what we're going to do is we're going to, as I mentioned, it generated content. Um, so we need to do a couple of different things. First of all, we do need to go over to the page that it's going to be on and place it within that page. And then we also need to publish the form itself. So going over to the page where we're going to place it within the content editor. Here's that support page. I'm going to go over to the presentation tab within the details. And this is where I'm going to be placing that rendering. So I'm going to edit this default section here, go over to controls, and I'm going to choose to add. Now, uh, within your renderings, you're going to find it within this form section. It's the MVC form. So renderings, again, are those uh, business rules uh, the, the, for display, uh, the logic that's going to show what the data looks like. 
Um, so this is that uh, uh, rendering that controls that. Please note that if you are using an SXA site, you may also want to check out the MVC form renderer um, that provides some convenience functionality here. I'm going to put it within the main placeholder. And I'm also, it's kind of hard to see this, but I'm choosing to open the present presentation details box immediately. So it's already copied over that we've got our main. Now we need to connect it up to the data source itself, which is that form within the content tree. So we're already sent over to that. And this is our demo test form one. So I'm selecting that, I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna click okay a few times. You wanna make sure that it's in the, the correct place. This place is just fine. Alrighty, so now that we've got it in our page, we're ready to publish. So I'm going to go over to my publishing tab and choose to publish that item. Alrighty, quick and simple. Now, silly me, I went to the wrong section. I need to go over to the content tree where the form is and they need to publish that. So demo test form. Once again, going to publish, publish item, and be sure that your sub items are selected here. Publishing that. And now I'm ready to go over to our demo form here, refresh for you. And you'll see it shows up. Like I said, not pretty. It's a demo site. We're not so, <laughs> not so interested in that, but I am just going to Fill this out quickly and submit it. And that brings you to our site where we encourage you to check us out further and contact us. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you.